heads or tails. Each outcome has a 50-50 chance. But is there a way to predict which side will land face up? Random events, those that don't follow any discernible pattern, happen all around us. Think stock market fluctuations, the exact location of a freckle, bacteria movements, even the spread of rumors. And some mathematicians are trying to make sense of it. Take the example of a coin. With one flip, you have an equal chance of heads or tails. Flip it multiple times and you might expect an even split, but that doesn't always happen. With just two flips of a coin, there's a good chance that you could get only heads or only tails. Essentially, the outcome is still unpredictable. But after a thousand flips, the situation changes. Now, the odds of getting only heads are almost 0%, and the odds of getting more than 600 heads still almost zero. Two millionths of 1%, to be exact. After a thousand flips, it's almost certain that the number of heads will fall very close to 500. Flipping a coin is still random, but with this reasoning, you can predict its outcome within certain limits. This is the work of Michel Talligrand, a French mathematician and winner of the 2024 Abel Prize, like the Nobel Prize, but for math. He designed formulas called inequalities to better identify the limits of randomness. For example, using these formulas, we can predict the likely maximum height of a river over a decade or the strength of an earthquake. This is because many seemingly random processes follow a pattern called the normal distribution. Things like retirement ages and athletes or job satisfaction seem to be random, but they can actually be plotted along this graph. That's because most things fall around the average, with fewer at the extremes. But to predict something complex, like a river's height, you have to consider a lot of factors. Think rain, temperature, and wind. This can start to get complicated. Talligrand's inequalities help manage this randomness. His work has real-world applications, such as deciding where to build a house near a river. At other times, though, randomness can be helpful like in computer security, where random digital keys protect your personal data. In 2023, the Turing Award, a very prestigious prize in computing, went to Avi Vigdesen. His work explores how randomness can solve computer problems. With this idea, scientists can use computers to analyze the spread of disease, weather events, and search for a cure for cancer. But some things will always be surprising, even the toss of a coin. Go ahead, take a guess. Did you get it right?